from Thermos Chester and today I'm sampling a bowl of Emmerdale Flake from Gareth and Hogarth. Once again, part of my continuing series, tasting my way through the so-called Lakeland Flakes by Gareth and Hogarth. Uh, the Lakeland Flakes, as I've said, uh, famed for their very distinctive floral style aroma and varying degrees of tobacco uh, characteristics through them as well. Uh, Ennardale is certainly one of the more interesting as far as the tobacco goes. First of all, I'll show you. We've got really nice firm flakes there. They still rub down nice and easily, but they're a nice solid flake that don't completely come apart as you pick them out of the pack, as like some others do. And you can see, looking through there, we've really got a rainbow of all the colours, well, brown, but all the different browns, including some really nice dark black edges there. And this comes as no surprise when you look at the actual tobacco composition. 84% uh, no sorry, 86% of it is a variety of Virginias from Brazil, Malawi and Zimbabwe. You also have sun cured Malawi tobacco making up 10% and then the final 4% is, is Malawi Burley which is just added to cool the uh, smoke overall and as Burley often is, is used to help pick up the casing. As with the other parts of the Lakeland range, there is that floral element to this, but this is right at the bottom end of the scale as far as how floral it is goes. There is a hint of it, but there's much more going on in this one. It's uh, it's sorry, it's got a fruity element, like a nice sweet red fruit, sort of like strawberries or black currants almost. And then there's something a bit vanilla in there as well. And then you do just have that very, very slight floral hint as well. Uh, as I've said in other videos, the floral character isn't for everybody. So this would make a really nice, gentle introduction to that style of tobacco. Uh, the, the actual base tobacco being so varied as well, gives it a very satisfying tobacco base as far as the actual flavor goes. You're not just noticing the flavor. There is some really nice complex tobacco uh, notes going on underneath it all and it all comes together in something that's very satisfying quite different both from the rest of the range and from other tobaccos out there so I'd say this would be a very nice uh, first step into this range of tobaccos if you're curious about them but are wary of the whole slightly crazy floral thing that they've got going on if you would like to try this it's available as always at termos.com do try it hope you like it and let us know what you think and as always, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in the future. Until next time, thank you for watching and we'll be seeing you soon. Cheers!